Hello and welcome to Covey Fabrics DIY channel. My name is Amy and I'm visiting you today from Artisan Upholstery Studio right here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a plain old coffee table into a beautiful tufted upholstered bench. Today I am working with this cotton linen fabric. It's really lovely blue with a white kind of grayish background and it's going to lend itself really nicely to our bench project. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the top of my table and that's because I want to trim this to the exact dimensions of the base. And I'm going to paint that base to match the fabric a little better. So the exact dimensions of my table base are 42 by 21 deep. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark it and I'm going to cut it. Make sure that you wear safety glasses and hearing protection when you're using any kind of loud power equipment. So I've got my foam all prepared and drawn out. It's three inches thick and I started by drawing the rough shape of the diamonds in blue marker and I chose a large diamond so it didn't distort the fabric. So what I did next was I figured out the, bo the borders that I wanted. So the front and the back are the same and the sides are the same. So then the buttons down the middle will be evenly spaced. So you've got to measure those perfectly. So this is the tool that I use to cut the holes in the foam. It's just an attachment for my drill. And where the, the lines of the diamonds intersect, that's where you drill these holes. So next I'm going to switch over to my drill attachment because we need to drill holes where each button is going to go into the wood. So make sure that the foam is perfectly, perfectly lined up with the wood. And then just start drilling right in the center of the hole. So what I'm doing now is I am cutting each of these border lines, but not all the way through, just halfway through. So you can use a razor for this. That's what I am using here. Another tool that you can use is a serrated blade, so a bread knife works really well. This particular knife is used for insulating, insulation cutting. So this again is our beautiful cotton linen fabric from Covey Fabrics. It's um, gonna be great for tufting and it's a big, big pattern. So that's why I didn't want to distort it with uh, small diamonds. So I use big diamonds. So the measurement that we need is 36 inch inches and we want to make sure that that big flower in the center is uh, centered. So. We're going to lay it on and make sure that the center mark is where we want it to be. And now I am making the buttons. For this particular pattern, we need 13 buttons to be made. And you can always just buy little button press kits from your local fabric store. You don't need a fancy button machine like mine.
there we go, button. So this is button twine, and it's really nice and strong nylon, and uh, it's going to secure those buttons in place. So you loop it through the button, and then both of those ends of the twine go through this needle. So the needle has a point on each end, and that point is great because it's going to come up through the bottom of the wood, like so. So we're going to lay the fabric on again, center it nicely, and then we're going to work our way from the bottom, poking it through right to the center, and then loop the button twine, both of the ends of it, through the hole that's in that needle. And then that allows us to pull it back through so that the twine is now on the back side of our board. So the easiest thing to do is to just staple it down nice and tight and I do it three times back and forth so that it doesn't slip out. So it's really deep and that's what gives us that nice folded tufted look. So you're just making sure that the fabric stays nice and straight. So you can tell by the weave of the fabric that you're keeping it nice and straight. It's really important with tufting, otherwise your folds will not look correct. So now that we have all our buttons in, I'm going to make the pleats all nice and tidy. Now the pleats should all face in the same direction, which is down. And uh, yeah, you just tidy them up and make sure that they're nice and even. And now we're going to upholster these sides. So I start in the uh, center of each of those tufts and just pull it nice and even. And then you work your way to the fold. So where the where the uh, fabric meets up, you got to fold that really nicely and evenly.
And then you have to flip it over and do the other side, of course. And then the little sides after that. So this shows you a better view of how I did that exactly. So then I make the fold. So these are the corners that we're going to do finally. And uh, you want to just fold it over neatly and trim out all the extra fabric because you don't want a big bulky mess there. Tuck it all under neatly and then just staple it down. Easy peasy. So here's our finished top. It uh, needs a little steam before it goes on. Looks great though. You'll notice that I trimmed off all of those strings that were hanging down. And now I'm reattaching the top. So here's our beautiful tufted bench. I think that the fabric we chose from Covey Fabrics was an excellent choice. It looks just wonderful with the tufts. Excellent, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to go back and watch the other videos. Covey Fabrics has a lot of beautiful fabrics, and I have a lot of DIY projects to show you with them.